that is going to show you guys how she did this. Remember, remember, go get your stamps. I know, they're so excited. Everybody, when we said that we were going to have the watch on, they were like freaking out. These stamps, okay, let's tell them these are silicone. That's the whole thing with these, you guys. They have this one. Yes, they all okay. have this one. The thing is that being able to get that amount of detail, look at that thing. It's amazing. Actually, you guys have that one, but let's show them, like, the new ones, yes. Look at this design, you guys. I will go around the booth, for sure. You can't hear her? Okay, we'll speak up. We'll speak up. Okay, I know, the bird is beautiful. They're excited. These are all new? Yes, oh not my gosh. Enough. A lot more. Okay. We have 30 new designs. 30 new designs. Can you hear us better now? I know the birdie one. You guys, it's not just one birdie one. There was a bunch of birds. Yes. Oh, look at the yeah. cat. Yeah. How cute is that? There's uh, more bird designs. Oh, uh, this one. Look, look at the little, is it a little like mouse? Edgar. I called him Edgar. Edgar. How it's cute. Edgar. <laughs> Edgar. And new Christmas designs. Got new Christmas stamps. I mean, the detail on it is just amazing. Our beautiful, beautiful new flower stamps. This Christine, your kit was sent out, so. Is Christine's kit sent out? Christine, the moderator? Christine, nay. Christine, yours was sent out. I'm sorry if you didn't get it yet. We'll track it. Look at this. This one? New? No, that's not new. Okay. We have a lot of new ones. This small Look at this little kid with the wings, butterfly. You can stamp that, cut the butterfly out, and add wings on his back. How cute would that be? This one's pearl, mutant. Lovebirds? Little lovebirds. Like me and my new boyfriend. I have a new boyfriend. <laughs> talk about him all the time. Okay. So cute. so cute. Okay. All right, you guys, we're ready to start. You guys ready to see this? Okay. All right, ready? So here's the stamp. Yes. First, take an archival ink or call. another dye ink. Ink the stamp. What are you using? What's I favorite? use archival. archival. I, I love archival ink because she is using yes, archival, archival ink from Ranger. So can they use a pigment they're asking? Pigment ink? Uh, not not so perfect for this. Because most of the pigment inks are on a sponge. Try to take a the one with the hard pack. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. On the film. On the film. Yeah. Versafine they're asking. Versafine is perfect. Versafine is great. Memento. Memento. Yeah. Okay. You guys get it, right? Pushing it down with your whole hand. Okay. I know. They said the images look 3D. The detail so intense. Look at that, you guys. You see every detail line. Okay. Look at that. Oh, it's so amazing. I mean, seriously, it's so detailed. Are you guys doing this with her? I know some people are doing it while you're doing it. So. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. I don't know. I stand on our. Now, do you clean it after? Yes, you can clean it, but I clean it in the evening. Oh, she cleans it at the end of the day. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay, comes right off. Okay, perfect, perfect. Dry it. You can dry it with a heat gun or dry it by air. Mm -hmm. It has to be dry. But this, you tell them why this paper is special. You guys got two pieces of this special yes. stamping paper. Tell them why. Yes. This stamping paper is perfect for coloring the distress inks. 
it's perfect for watermark resistance. I show you one small example. This is a watermark, a watermark resistant. I stand on the specialty sanding paper. You see only the glossy white. It has to be dry. Dry it with your heat tool. And when, if, when you then color it with the distress inks, you have a water a resist effect. A resist effect like, oh, no example here. You will see it. Okay. She's going to show you, so this special paper, when you stamp it with the Versamark and let the Versamark dry, it does a resist. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. You see okay, that it's, was it's, really cool. Yes, it's perfect with these papers. If you... I know. Tell the paper and I show you. So the paper is their special stamping paper by La Blanche. And look at her, now she's layering in other colors. You see, it's much deeper when the paper is brushed. So then the when you open it up, that yes. the you fuzzy part gets colors. even darker. Look yes. at that. Yeah. There's a lot of possibilities. And so are they are carrying, I've seen these stamps now, they, they are carrying them in the US, and the paper also you can get. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. And show how you detail you can emboss. This is a gold embossing powder, and these details you can emboss so detailed on this paper. Look at that, you guys. So beautiful. This is one of your stamps too, then. Yeah. This is so beautiful. <laughs> we love flourishes. Okay. That came from a stamp. Yeah, I know. They're going. Oh, here's the stamp. Tanya. Okay, um, I love your tips. Wow, looks like fine art. I know. And now, where are these designs coming from? Tell me you drew that. No. <laughs> <laughs> where are these designs coming from? Do you have designers uh, I, that are making No, I design all you these stamps. You drew all these? Yes, I design all these stamps. <laughs> all right, yeah, talented girl. Super, super talented. Yeah, she designed these. She said, she said it looks like Da Vinci. Oh, thank you very much. The angel, was the angel image a stamp? Yes. Yes, these yes, are all, all new stamps. These are all Jacqueline's stamps. She designed all of these. This one, I show you the end. It's that's a new stamp. It's a new stamp, this one. Look at that. Gosh, you're amazing. <laughs> Alright, I, I didn't show you know one new stamp. I have to show you one. Okay, okay. I love this stamp. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? It's like a little Victorian chair. Like this is like something that would be in like King I, Louis. Yes, King Louis. Yes. Oh, it's, it's a better name. I called him, would you play with me? Would you like to play oh. with me? But King Louis is the better. Look at that mouse down there. He's not afraid of the kitty. No. no. Oh my gosh. And then I love how you embellished it here. Look at that. Does it have glitter in it? You mean the... If, no, no she's, it's glossy. It's the beauty. It's covering the beauty. She's covered it with embossing powder. So yes. it's embossing. She's embossed it. Yes. So you colored it first and then embossed it? No. No, first, I, yes, I stamp with archival, then I well, color the details. Well, she's going to show you this right now, right? Yes, then I color the details, then I paint all with an embossing pen, oh. and color it with the UT, the ultra thick embossing yes. powder. And then, it doesn't blow out? No, it doesn't blow out. Oh my god. Okay, she's going to show us this technique right now. <laughs> I'm making those for my girls' room. Love the antique shabby shoe. Yeah, we do too. I know, the detail is phenomenal. So now she uses a nib to color. So like, look at, she's got all these stamp pads here. We love it when we can leave our stamp pads out like that and have all the colors at our fingertips. So she's coloring with a nib. And where does this nib come from? The nibs come from Ranger Institute. So this Ranger nibs. Yes. Okay. They call it cut and dry pen nibs. Cut and dry pen nibs. That's okay, we got it. That's good, that's good. Cut and dry pen nibs. And so she's coloring with these nibs. And look at the way this paper is taking this ink. Everything from her lips to the amazing flowers in her hair. I love it. I love it. What color did you stamp it with? Coffee. Yes, with coffee. Archival ink coffee from Ranger. The color's coffee. Hi, Gina. I know, eBay's calling your name. I know. Okay.